So the chances are you want to grow your fitness business and you probably want more clients. Now, I remember back when I first started out, what I used to do is I'd, I read hundreds of books. I read every book I possibly could to learn more information. And I highly recommend that you do that. Reading books is good. Getting help is good. One flaw that I had with constantly consuming was I started to get enjoyment out of constantly consuming. And I wasn't actually making any progress. So in this video here, what I want to do is give you some practical tools to actually show you how you can choose and figure out exactly what it is that you need to be working on right now to help grow your business forward. Now we all have bottlenecks. Are we not getting the lead flow in? Is our conversion rate not high enough? Are our clients not staying when we have a retention problem? But we need to know which path along the path is where we're stuck. So what I'm going to do is show you these practical tools right now. Okay, so this is where we need to start. First thing is we need to make sure that we've identified our who and what. Who it is that we help and what it is that we help them with. So too often I see people that are going into, what's the best option here? Should I be doing Facebook, Instagram, YouTube? Like where am I supposed to get clients? And it's like, if you don't know who your client is, it doesn't really matter. In this instance, I've put here Facebook and Instagram, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. So I'm gonna show you how to actually break down some content and come up with the content for your offer. But the first thing what I wanna address is just like, if this is you, have you identified who it is that you help and what it is that you help them with? Your niche. Because once we've identified that, then we can work through our offer. Now we've addressed that in other videos, so you can go back and have a look at that, or you can just yell out and I can send you through some of the niche offer hypothesis worksheety type things, and you can narrow that down. If you haven't done that, then this here is somewhat irrelevant. Okay, so go back and get that done. But then once we've done that, then we've dialed in our offer. Once our offer is dialed in, and how we know whether it's dialed in is because we've taken it to market and our market has given us actual money for it. If people have not given us money for it, then we have to come back and make sure that who we help and what we help them with is on point because nobody's gonna buy your shit if they don't want it. So it doesn't matter like how good we get with our awesome posts and we go, okay, I've got some really good engagement. And, and even if your content is really good, people will appreciate it and like your content but then still not buy because they still don't want what you're offering. So we've got to make sure our offer is dialed in. Again, if you haven't got your offer dialed in, let me know and I can send you through some worksheets to make sure that's dialed in. But for today's video, what we want to do is just pretend all this is dialed in. If not, let me know, we can dial that in. Okay, so we go through here, let's pretend that we're doing some, some marketing on these platforms, doesn't really matter what platform, um, but everything has to come from our offer. So every time that we do a post, we're talking to a who. The who. And every time we're doing an offer, we're talking about the what. And we can move away from or towards goals. And I'll show you how we do that in a moment. So if we just go for a second and think about, okay, so this is a content formula that we can use. And this is all good and well, but again, if this isn't dialed in, then that does not really make a difference. And it's not going to be helpful at all because all we're doing is spending a lot of time and effort putting content together around an issue that nobody wants help with. So we have to make sure that we have dialed this in. So when we're creating the content, we'd write down who our avatar is and then we'd write a massive list, as many as you can, even a hundred on each one of these, if possible. The mistakes that your market is making. So who your client is and what are the mistakes that they're making with their health and wellness or what's causing their anxiety, depression, whatever it is that you're actually specifically working with. All the mistakes that they're making and what's the pain of making them those mistakes? What does it like costing them to be sitting in this place for a long period of time? Because most people's clients have had the issue for a long time. They don't wake up one day and think, okay, well, I'm going to get uh, XYZ fixed. They've been dealing with it for a long time and it's probably something that's top of mind. It's something that they think about when they wake up in the morning. It's probably something that they think about when they go to bed at night. And that's called... That, that's called an offer that's dialed in. If you can hit that pain point, then you, you've really got your avatar dialed in. And then what's the pleasure of fixing it? And this is what I'll go over now, away from and towards. So if we have a look at this here, and what I'll need you to do is just draw a line in the sand, the sand. I draw a line on a piece of paper, like this, and I'll just go away towards, and then I'll write a big list of all the goals that are away from a pain or towards a goal. So just as an example of that, like an away from pain is like, I've been overweight my whole life. I've yo-yoed, it's been going up and down 
and, and, I'm, and I'm sick of being like this. So they're describing who they've been, who they are in the last 10 years of pain. It's, so they're trying to get away from that pain. And then if we think about towards, so that's when somebody's like, I want to lose 10 pounds, get in shape, I'm going on holiday with my family, I've got a wedding to go to, and they're, they're thinking in the future towards goal. So you'll just come up with a number of, like as many as you can on each one of these, away from and towards and that's going to give you just a, a truckload of content so every time you're thinking about okay, well, what's my content calendar what's my content calendar say for like this and i'm going to go do it uh, yeah chuck some posts in from a sheet like this this doesn't even really matter but you chuck in from some stuff from there you go from away from and towards get as many of these as you possibly can each one and when you're sitting down coming up with the content you can have a look at this is today going to be an away from or towards goal okay i'm going to pick I'm going to pick one of these, so let's just, I'm not going to write anything here, but let's just say you've got this here, some here, then you would just put that into your posting calendar. And these are all coming from, if we go back up to this sheet here, our avatar, the mistakes that they're making, the pain that they're in from making these mistakes and fixing these problems. And this is all coming from our offer. So hopefully this is helpful and hopefully it made sense. I've tried to diagram this out to make it as simple as possible for you. But remember, none of this matters if we don't get this right. You've got to know, you need to know who you're helping and what you're helping them with. Have a really crystal clear offer. Once that offer is on point, meaning people want to give you money for it, then all this sort of stuff becomes really quite simple. So hopefully this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video.